What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Sir Cortica T Great bringing you week six of the British Battle Royale, better known as the BBR for short. This week we are facing off my friend Platinum Howler and his Desert Gliders. Howler is somebody I've faced many, many times before, I do believe. Uh, I, I've known him for quite some time. He's an OG Breject, and I'm very excited to be battling him today. Uh, it, it is a bit last minute. Uh, we uh, totally were scheduling on time. Anyways, uh, uh, I wanted to wish you guys a happy holidays. This is going to come out sort of like a week after, a week plus after uh, Christmas. So, you know, just, you know, very grateful for all the love you've given my channel. Uh, and I look forward to, you know, giving you guys more content in the future. So I'm just re looking, making sure I look nice on camera. Anyways, um, I'm going to quickly break down the team, what we're bringing and why we're bringing it. Um, so I will be honest, I sort of built this over a week ago. And I'm kind of faulty of what does what. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to update my OBS settings. Okay, hopefully that fixes everything and just increased the bit rate of my videos. Anyways, um, so uh, like I said, uh, we're going to quickly break down our team, what we're bringing and why we're bringing it. Um, so first and foremost, we have Manny the Mammal Swine uh, with the Choice Scarf and the Thick Fat Ability. Uh, we have Earthquake, Icicle, Spear, Knockoff, and Ice Shard. So the reason we're bringing sh uh, Spear over Crash is because... Uh, I feel like he could potentially bring like a Yachi Berry on, you know, his Ting Growth, on his Dragapult, on his Diggersby, uh, or Diggersby could be potentially Sash. And so I, I like Spear this week because it sort of breaks those items immediately and we get an additional hit. So if he's Yachi Berry, the Yachi Berry will only uh, be affected by, or our first Spear, or our, the only Spear that's affected is our first one, so it'll only be reduced by half, and then every other one will be at full power, which I really, really like. We have enough speed, uh, so we're, we, have our, uh, we have max attack, enough speed to be outspeeding a Dragapult. A timid or jolly dragon pull, and then the rest is in, uh, is in special defense in case he brings like a special variant, so we can take this hit a little bit better. Uh, I really like EQ because uh, aside of Galarian uh, Galarian Moltres, we we can freely uh, EQ spam. There's not many Pokemon that really want to come in on that. Uh, Ice Spear is also really nice. It does also deal with the uh, Galarian uh, Moltres, and then we have Knockoff because it's also nice. It hurts the dragon pull. It also is really nice. It, like you know, we're in a situation where Dragon Ball is in front of us. We could always you know knock it off, and then Ice Shard is good for priority, which is something we actually really really need. Uh, next up, we have La Bruja. Uh, this week with max HP and max special attack with the Quiet Nature. Um, we have Magic Bounce, Life Orb, Trick Room, Psy Shock, Dazzling Gleam, and Mystical Fire. So uh, this week is La Bruja is going to be putting a ton of work. Uh, the only Pokemon that really threaten us in Trick Room are going to be Pokemon like Tangrowth and Behem. And I feel like we sort of deal with them pretty well. Uh, Mystical Fire is going to deal with the Behem, Lowering Special Attack, which it, it would intend to like to be. And then, uh, you know, Mystical Fire is going to destroy Tangrowth. Tangrowth, while it's a really good physical wall, it's a terrible, uh, especially the defensive wall. So I really want to take advantage of that. And so I'm hoping, you know, we. I, this, that's something I've learned, you know, in the past. I've overlooked Tangrowth's defense stats. So, you know, when I faced off uh, Seabad and his Detroit Sea Wings last season, if you guys missed that, that was a fantastic battle. Came uh, came very close. So please go check that out if you haven't already. I sort of, if I had brought Flamethrower on my Draco Salt, we would have had an easier time with his Tangrowth. In fact, like, we two-shot it. So, uh, that's the reason why I wanted to bring a special check, because Tangrowth can just be a physical wall, um, you know, with, like, a Rocky Helmet. So, I really wanted to prevent that. So, yeah. Uh, and aside of that, you know, uh, Labroca can just go in and it destroys most of his team uh, with a combination of, of the stab. The one Pokemon we sort of have to deal with is Magmar if it's a Valiolite. But I don't see it coming this week, so that's the only reason why we're not bringing like a grass move. Next up, we got Scott Lang, the the Durant with the hustle ability, uh, with the max speed to be outspeeding uh, the Cobalion, because uh, uh, Scott Lang is has a base of 109, while uh, Cobalion has a base of 108. So with that, we are always outspeeding uh, Cobalion and then everything else naturally. We have superpower, stopping tantrum, iron, and agility with the protective pads. So I know what you might be wondering, why the hell are you running agility? Well, it's because I really want to outspeed the Dragon Pulp regardless. Um, and I don't want to be under, I, I don't want to be oversped by the Cobalion naturally. I really want it, I really want Skelling to be a threat to my opponent. Uh, the combinations of iron and stopping, like we had four moves uh, slot syndrome this week, but I just didn't want to bring a choice scarf because I really wanted the, the, the freedom of cooking any moves I wanted to. Uh, so with, I, with the combination of Iron Head stopping Treasure Superpower really does a number to my opponent. Um, uh, you know, Dragon Ball doesn't appreciate the Iron Head, Tigger's Beat doesn't appreciate a Superpower, Cobalion doesn't appreciate a stopping Tantrum or a Superpower, uh, Tangrowth is Tangrowth, so like, you know, we're not gonna do too much to it. Moltres does not appreciate a Superpower or an Iron Head, Comfy does not appreciate an Iron Head, Tentacruel does not appreciate a stopping Tantrum, 
the Heum does not appreciate the Iron Head, Caracasa is stopping Tantrum, Magmar, Luxio was stopping Tantrum. So, uh, I feel like Scotland is going to be a huge source of my opponent, especially with us running the, uh, the uh, Hustle ability. Uh, theoretically, maybe I could have run maybe a home class set like I did a few weeks ago, but I really want to get some, some power out there. So yeah, next up we got Pac-Man, the Death Noir. Uh, we're bringing basically max HP, max, uh, max attack with the Adam and Nature. Uh, it's also a tr another Trick Room threat in our team, uh, in our arsenal. We have Shadow Sneak, Poltergeist, Ice Beam, and Earthquake. So like I said before, Tangros is a huge physical, uh, physical wall, but it can't take those special hits unless he brings back special attack, uh, Assault Fest. Which actually would work out in our favor. Uh, so otherwise, Ice Beam does two shot it. Um, in a combination of Shadow Sting, Poltergeist, and EQ. Again, Earth Spam, or um, uh, e, uh, yeah, Ground Spam is really, really a uh, huge one to my opponent's team. I kind of want to uh, exploit. The only Pokemon that really, you know, can take a hit are Moltres. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry. So the goal is to knock out Moltres as quickly as possible so that we can we can easily deal with it. Uh, speaking of sort of like multi tricks, we got Coltney the Colossal with um, max HP, max special defense with the Flame Body and the Chapel Berry, Stealth Rocks, Rapid Spin, Earth Power, and Flame Throw. I kind of changes at the very last second. I was going to bring, uh, or I brought, I had a physical set, but I remembered about Dang Growth, and I wanted a you know a good stab response to it, so this is why we're bringing a special Coltney. Uh, so a combination, like I said before, Earth Spam is really pre 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 prevalent, and I kind of want to scare the Moltres out, you know, bluffing that we have the Rock move. Uh, Rapid Spin's really nice because uh, it, while this thing does bring in uh, the the tentacle almost every single time, you know we you know we, we can deal with it. Um, so yeah, and then finally we have Bruce the Sharpedo with the extra belt and the speed boost. Uh, Surf, Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, and Protect. So pr with Protect, we'll, we'll get that speed boost and we'll immediately outspeed the Dragapult, which I think is really really nice. Um, and the combination of Surf, Dark Pulse, and Ice Beam is really nice as well. Uh, so like I said before. I feel like my opponent might expect me to bring a, uh, a physical Tripedo set if I, if I, you know, if he, if he thought I was going to bring it. So it was sort of like this turn at the tables. We have to destroy uh, the Tangrowth. And a combination of these moves also hurts my opponent a whole lot. That's sort of the theme this week. Um, but anyway, so that is the team. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, I'm going to get connected with my opponent, and I'll see you guys at the battle. Peace. That's not, that's not OBS. This is OBS. Hi, OBS. I'm Jorge. Nice to meet you. Alrighty, daddy, ladies and gentlemen, we are now getting connected with, uh, with Howler. Um, you can see it's the six I think he brings. Uh, in terms of, like, variations, maybe he doesn't bring Tentacruel, which I'd be very happy with, but I doubt. Uh, maybe he doesn't bring Diggersby or Cobalion. Uh, potentially the Galarian Motres. Um, but I, 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 feeling fairly confident with at least four of the six you see on the screen. Uh, for sure Dragapult, though. I mean, you gotta bring, you gotta bring your tier one Pokemon. So that's the guy who hardly brings Serpo, uh, his uh, tier one, uh, uh, Urshifu. Um, uh, not gonna lie, uh, it's been a while since I actually had a match. Uh, the last match I had was the UPA. Uh, if you guys didn't, if you guys actually did miss it, so now that I talk about it, it would have come up the day before you're seeing this. So go check that out too. Um, that was an insane battle um, for us, anyways. <laughs> As we kick it with our opponent, there's Howler, so it is his competition. Um, I know I did land, so I should be good. Um, also, not a sponsor, but I they now have G Fuel in my area, the canned version at the very least. So I've been hunting around my city, seeing, find, trying to find it, uh, any like nook, nook and cranny. Um, and fortunately, some like there's some stores. Uh, there's actually one by my university, which I'm very, very appreciative about. Um, so this is sort of going to keep me energized because I'm, I do plan to stream later today. Um, I don't know why I'm going to get an encoded overload. There's our opponent. Let's start the signal. Okay, there we go. It was like, why aren't you registering my A button, Mr. Controller? Okay, let's see. So we try to look at Comfey over the Tangrowth, which I am actually okay with. Um. In terms of the lead, I could lead off with uh, Mammal Swine. The only thing I see a potential issue with is the Comfe lead, because Comfe can click Liquid Drain in front of us and just do a lot of damage to us. Uh, but I think that that's the only bad lead for us. So let's. We could also lead off with Pac Man. Uh, Pac Man would be a great uh, lead as well. Um, uh, it's very neutral. Oh, we'll just lead off with... Uh, yeah. Let's actually lead off with Pac-Man. 
I'm gonna lead off with Pac-Man. I usually don't. So this is a really weird start off with me, but I could see why my opponent... I could, I could see my opponent leading off with Comfe. Offensively, it does respond to my Mana Spine. It responds to my Bruce. Um, it, it's overall a nuisance, and uh, Scotland's gonna have to put some work this week to take care of it. So let's start off with that. If you lose up with Dragapult, we could always, you know, just Shadow Sneak it. Um, uh, as it probably goes for a U-turn or something. Um, all right, so my opponent... Okay, so let's update. Uh, we actually uh, let uh, updated that. Let's see, Pult, Galarian Moltres. Uh, we see Cobalion. We see Diggersby. Uh, Tenta. And Comfey. As he left with uh, Fidget Spin, which is going to be the Tenta Crawl. Okay. I have no issue with just clicking an EQ here. Um, it does bring in the Galarian Moltres. Uh, we're gonna reveal that with pressure. Dun 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 dun. Uh, I'm gonna go for a simple EQ. Uh, this should do a good amount of damage to the Tentacruel because uh, we are max attack. Um, so I'm just gonna go for the EQ. It's not gonna overthink this. That's because for Toxic Spikes. Okay. Uh, we should. Uh, do over half to this thing. Oh, he's Focus Ash. Okay, cool. So we can we can pick it off with a uh, Shadow Sneak. Uh, so Sash, T Spikes. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the best removal here. So we'll go for the Shadow Sneak. Um, yeah, this thing had like no bulk. He just switches out. Goes into Imposter. Which is gonna be the Galarian, uh, the Galarian, uh, thing. We're gonna zero to that. At least we're, we're gonna see whether or not it is, um, uh, it's not item. Uh, we don't have a good switch into this. Uh, I'm gonna go Coltney, because we can wrap it thing. Oh, it's probably gonna go for a, uh, Nazi pull if I had to guess. Uh, I'm gonna see. I'm seeing how much a uh, fiery wrath is gonna do. Uh, a 252 is doing around 26% to our colossal. So uh, we're, 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 uh, we're eating those hits. Um, he does see that we do have um, that we do have shadow sneak. So it's in case that we have to be careful for. So he's gonna stay in. Probably goes for the dark move, or goes for the nasty plot. We are going to get poison, which is kind of annoying. Um, as it goes for U-turn, actually. Can we get a burn? We don't. Okay, so he's probably going to go into Tentacruel. If I had to guess. He goes into Bun It. The Digger Speed. Okay. Um... I'm just gonna go for a rapid spin. Diggersby could go for an EQ, but he could also go for spikes. He goes for EQ, okay, so he's probably gonna knock us out here. And he does, okay. So, uh, Diggers kills uh, Colossal. So, unfortunately, it's so that it's gonna be, it's gonna seem as though um, uh, these poison spikes are gonna stay on the field. So they are going to whittle us down. I'm going to go into Scott Lang here because we could just scare it out with a superpower. We're not affected by two spikes. Um, I'm just going to go for an Iron Head. Uh, let's see. Uh, Durant. Uh, Iron Head is a two shot to no HP. So I'm going to go for the Iron Head. There's no need to go for the superpower in my opinion. Power is doing 69 to 81% to this uh to the Sigurd Speed with no HP investment. Uh it's doing 57 minimum. Uh, he could go to Tentacle. He could just give me a Tentacle if, if he so pleases to. Uh Earthquake is actually hurting us a lot. Adamant life. Uh well, we don't see life orb. So he stays in, we do connect. 
Did we get a flinch? Oh, we got a crit. That's massive. As for fire punch. Oh, that's going to knock us out. Yeah, okay. Wow, Digger's Beast is going to go for the... Okay. Digger's... Kills, uh... Durant. Wow, okay. Okay. See, EQ. Fire punch. So, unfortunately, we do lose our, uh... Our Scott Lang. Immediately. Um... I think I just go into Bruce and click Protect, turn 1, to get that speed boost. We can also have Quick Attack, which is which is an issue. So I'm going to go for Protect this first turn. So we, we guarantee get the... Um... He, he also could think we have Aqua Jet, which is very fair, but we don't. We're Special Bruce. Um... Oh, uh, Dinkersby is kind of like putting us in the rabbit hole. Um, it's actually a funny thumbnail idea. Um, anyways, uh, Dinkersby is quite low. Unfortunately, we don't have any more hazards uh, up our sleeve. Uh, we do have Ice Shard with Mammal Slime, so if it turns out to be a problem, uh, we are going to get well done by these six packs, so we're going to have to play more aggressively than I would like. So he does switch out. And he goes into Fidget Spin, which is going to be... The tentacle, he's, he's gonna give me this Pokemon. Uh, but it fails. So, um, we're gonna get our speed boost. Um, I think our more, more most neutral play is gonna go for, is to go for a Surf. Comfy could come in on us with ease. Um, how much is a Mystical Fire doing to a Cobalion? So we are going to knock this thing out. Mystical Fire has a chance to knock him out. He has no HP. So, uh, Sharpedo's going to get a kill. So, Comfey can come in. That's the thing. Comfey. We're not doing too much to it, so I have to go to this more. So Tentacruel is down, which actually is, a, I think it's a little bit better for us. Because into Ukulele, yep, Ukulele, 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 Yu-Gi-Oh, yes. Uh, we can also just go into La Bruja. Um but I kind of want to keep La Bruja healthy. Um... We're gonna get poisoned here, unfortunately. Um, we are gonna exit. Uh, should be doing twenty four percent as he goes for U turn. Okay. As you literally goes back and probably goes onto Moltres here. Unfortunately, we don't have a response to Moltres anymore. Uh, that, now that we lost Coltney, uh, hopefully we can take a hit. I really hope we can take a hit. God, I hope we can take it. I hope we can take it. How many points? How many girls? How many points? Oh, we could. We don't take it well. And Ice Beam's not doing too much to it. How about Manny the Mammal's fine? Uh, but we'll also be taking poison damage. It's a thing. So he is scared that I have Ice Punch. He goes into Imposter, which is going to be this Moltres. We do reveal that we are Leftovers. We also saw a U-turn earlier. So I think I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. Because it's just damage. Yeah. And then next we could go into... Uh... These are Hacks. Okay. Oh, that's really smart, actually. We are going to eat that hit. Nice, nicely. As we go for the ice beam. Not doing too much though. Can we get a freeze? That'd be huge. No, okay. So we see Hex. I actually like that a lot. Hex. I think I want to preserve uh, Dust Noir. 
So I'm gonna go into Bruce. Yeah. I'm gonna go into Bruce. As it's for Hex again. We probably don't take it well because we're. Oh, actually, we do. Okay, cool. Uh, I have to go for the protect. No if and buts are about it. We could also. I mean, he probably goes into look. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the surf. I'm gonna go for the surf. Oh, he goes for hex. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Of the crit kills Sharpedo. Um, I'm just gonna go into Manny the Mammoth Find. Ah, uh, ha, ha. <laughs> uh, we just didn't have answers. Uh, it's sort of the issue with our team. We don't have much removal. So in situations like these, you know, we we don't do so well. Um. Like the ukulele could definitely come. Uh, see the thing is he could also be scarfed himself. The thing is once once Moltres go, does go down, uh, we have a lot easier time. I want to go for the EQ protecting the Cobalion, but I just want to attack what's in front of me. Ah, oh, he switches out. We could have gone for the EQ. Yeah, Churchill. I was so close to going for the EQ. So close. Oh, actually, that works out. Actually, that worked out in our favor. We only hit it twice. <laughs> okay, so we did pop it. It's air balloon, which is huge. I'm going to go into uh, Pac-Man. <laughs> the fact that we only got two immediately was bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're getting swept here, though. Um, yeah, I don't think this is our season, uh, truth be told. EP is going phenomenally, you know, even though we're two and four, but, you know, sometimes you just, you just don't have a good season. Sometimes you just don't have a good season. No, that's okay. And that is completely okay. So we're going to switch out. Now does he stay in? Or does it combine? If he goes for rocks, holy sh crap. Oh, he's for, for flash can. He is a special variant. Uh, can I take a flash cannon from this? Actually, uh, yeah, actually I could. Uh, yeah, because we have enough damage on this thing to where, um, if I had, like, gone into Hatterene immediately, we could take the Flash Cannon. I'm gonna go for the Trick Room. I'm also bluffing that I'm Babiri, uh, but also this chip on this on this Cobalion is huge. Cause I think that secures the kill from uh, was like Mystical Fire. Because Iron Head is just the same power output as um, as Flash Cannon, so it's only doing 80% max. It's a full switch, actually. Hold up, this is best case scenario. This is best case scenario. Who does he go into? Comfey? Yeah, you go Lele. I'm gonna mystical fire this thing.
I'm gonna mystical fire with this thing. Cause it comes like a Giga Drain or whatever. We do a good chunk to this thing. As it goes for light screen, okay. So he has screens. And we see leftovers. So this this damage is really gonna rack up over time. Um, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna go for the Razzle Dazzle Deathwing Gleam. Uh, we could have gone for another Mystical Fire, so it's that much. I put it's like minimal. I think it's for Giga Drain. It's not gonna do much. But I think this plus the screens and, and poison is gonna whittle us down. Yeah. Uh, there's no way we can win from here, from here, uh, because we're gonna have to lock ourselves into a move with that Mammal Sweat in the back. Yeah, this is our last turn. Uh, and how many turns of Trick Room do we have left? S okay, so I do have to undo Trick Room here. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got, we got our butt handed to us. It's because for synthesis, yep. So that man, many of the mammals can, can, can come in. Um, yeah, Compass is such an annoying Pokemon to deal with. And then we're going to die to poison, unfortunately. Yeah, this was not our battle at all. But it's fine. It's fine. Again, like this, I don't think this was my season at all. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. I appreciate you guys hanging out here with me. That's That's the real spirit of it all. Um, does he know I'm, I'm Choice Scarf? That's the thing. I'm just gonna go for the EQ. Oh, that's right, he has a good, good drain. Oh, he does very little because we mystical fired him. Yeah, but we're, we're gonna lose here. It's whatever. Uh, good game to my opponent, Howler. Again, he's a phenomenal battler, so like, please go check him out. Um, he's a great, great dude overall. Um, I think this is reenacting our Seahawks Rams game. I was, uh, I guess for synthesis, he, he, he's gonna stall me out. It's unfortunate. <laughs> then I get a crit earlier on something. I think we got it on the uh, on the Diggers B. If we had flinched, we that that wouldn't be huge. Life can just wear off. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna lose here against uh, Howler. Um, oh, you're being cheeky. Finish me off, coward. I I got I got Howler. You need that ad revenue. It's okay. It's okay. That's a good nickname, ad revenue. I like that. I'm gonna take it. That's my new company nickname. There it goes. It's like a good dream. Okay, we're gonna lose there. That's whatever. You know, I've sort of been, been in this weird funk for a while now. I, I think I really bad when I faced off Olivia Sama. Um, but right now I'm going to take the season as it is. I'm going to learn from my, all my losses this season. I'm going to try to bounce back next season in the BBR if they take me back, obviously. Um, I'm just in a rabbit hole. That's really what it is with, with the, with the BBR. I think UP, I have my groove there, but I think in the BBR, I'm still sort of lacking. And I think it's reminiscent of the NCP, which I don't want to admit because in the NCP, I really lost interest like halfway through, but I stuck with it because... You know, I, I didn't want them to have fun another coach. But anyways, I'm going to wrap things up here. If you guys did enjoy this content, if you guys enjoy watching me, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you have not already. Oh, actually, hold up. I, I don't have to do that anymore. I have an outro now. Jorge, cue the outro.
Thank you so much for watching this video of mine. If you guys did enjoy this content, by all means, hit that like button down below and subscribe if you have not already. If you guys want to continue watching my content, Sergey himself has picked a video just for you on the left of the screen. Just all you have to do is click it, but YouTube does think you guys will enjoy the video on the right. The choice is yours. Anyways, you guys do know me as Sergey Korkut great. Make sure you appreciate the word of Alolanegi, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!